86% of the people in Toronto did not vote for Olivia Chow. This has come up on how this is possible. How with 14% do you get into power? Well, you know, the question that uh, the question really comes up is how many people voted. So there are 1.8 million people who have a, who can vote in Toronto, 1.8 million, 725,000 voted. So that means 1.1 million people did not vote. This is in order of the votes received. So Olivia Chow here, she got 37%, 32. Oh, it's amazing. Well, it is on the people that voted the 725,000. It looks very high. So uh, Chris uh, Sky here is like 1%, barely 1% of the people that actually voted. That's this column right here. That's how the percent comes. Now, and let me just highlight this too. These top, these ones I'm highlighting here are like 96%, 96. So that means 6% of all the other votes are all these other people here in green. And there's a lot of them, a lot of them here. Ben Banks, I've seen they bet 203 votes. You know, he's the guy with that funny suit or whatever, that comedian. So that comedian, what do you get? What did I say? 200, 203. Okay. Well, yeah, there you go. So if you add in the people that actually did not vote to here, this is, this is why I'd love the, um, um, none of the above ballot. So if you add that in, that means 61% of the people did not vote. And Olivia Chow has 14.3. That's how you get the 14% here that voted. So the people that actually voted. So, I mean, between Anna and uh, Olivia, it was close. And if you keep going down the list here, um, Mark Saunders and Anthony Fury, the 1% stops here at Chloe, like, like she only got 1% then of, of the people that voted. It's not much either, really. And I thought they said, the, I think they said that she's an up and comer or something. She's actually a politician, I believe. So, and even this Brad Bradford, he's a politician. I believe he was actually talking on the, on the mainstream media. He got like under, under a half a percent. Like that's it. The same as Chris Sky. about these ones right here. I'll highlight them. That's 98% or what I highlighted right here, 98, let me get blue, 98% of the votes are with 10 people. The all they need is 10 people, 90%, I said this before in the video, 90% could be removed from the list entirely, do not need to be there at all, nothing. So, and all this, this seems like a big joke. I think Frank, what Frank, I didn't even know they were, Frank D'Amico and Frank D'Angelo, huh? <laughs> I don't even know if people know the difference. I don't even know the difference. I think it's Angelo right here. Anyway, they call nothing, nothing at all. If you keep going down the list, oh, this is the, the, the oh my God, this is the politician in Ottawa that Trudeau fired. 254 votes. That's not much at all. Ben Banks, he's the guy with that suit and this Dion with an exclamation point. 188 Okay, keep going down the list. Yeah, now we're talking here under 100 votes. Yeah, so the lowest vote was Daniel here. Let's have a look at that one. All right, it doesn't matter. 90% of the votes could have been removed from the list. There should only have been 10, I would say 15 or so, but then you know who's going to pick the 15 is the mainstream media, and it's not going to be the 10 you see here. That's the problem. Anyway, thanks for watching, and that explains why 86% of the people did not vote for her. That's why. It's minus the 14. Thanks for watching.